Okay, I'm here with Robert Taylor, and we're doing just a little interview, questions and answers. Questions and answers. <laughs> so you were mentioning something about guilt, and I kind of wanted to explore that a little bit more, um, because you mentioned, could you repeat what you were saying? <laughs> well, guilt is actually self-loathing. Mm. And that's where fear is found. Wow. And <clears throat> we've bought the lie that the ego has told us that we are separate from God. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that that separation produces in us is judgment. Okay. We judge other people according to what and how we feel. And we judge ourselves. Ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. Because if there's no peace here, there can be no peace out here right because right. as within so without mm. okay mm -hmm. and so <clears throat> when we when we start to realize who we are and that time has runs in three three different directions okay you have your past on your linear line and your future but your middle point on the linear line is your present yes Okay. And we always talk about being in the now. In the now. Because <laughs> all you own is this second. Right. It's like a present. It's like a present. Okay. It's, but it's this second. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds from now, you're going to be even different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the moment you change your thoughts, every time you change your thought, you recreate a higher concept of who you are. Mm. But if you're dragging in your past into your present, you're changing the dynamics of your present, and it's not a reality. Hmm. It's the illusion of the ego that you got to judge somebody. Mm -hmm. Or this was good back then, but this is terrible now. Mm -hmm. Or often resentments of the past. Right. Mm -hmm. Or if you go to the future and try to live out of the future, and all you have is hope so there, hmm. and it never turns to no so, right. how can it be so? Mm -hmm. It can't. It's a lot of worry is what... It's often. worry. It's fear-based. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And fear-based is actually, is actually the void of knowing who you are or sure. accepting who you are. Say that one again? Fear. Mm -hmm. Fear-based. Anytime okay. you're in fear, right. it's, it's the void of knowing who you are. You're afraid oh. of... Afraid because of you don't. Oh, because you're afraid of getting to know yourself. Right, right. Because hmm. the ego has done such a such a convincing job to us over the thousands of lifetimes that we've been here mm -hmm. that we actually think that this is real. Mm -hmm. This is all illusionary. Mm -hmm. This is an illusionary thing as well. You're not a body. It's like a hologram. It's a hologram. <laughs> That's funny. But <clears throat> your hologram is your creation. Mm -hmm. And if it's going to be created from the ego's perspective, then it'll be separation. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> when you come to on the vertical time or the, uh, uh, the linear timeline in the present, you're actually standing in the vertical timeline. Mm -hmm. That's the start of Jacob's ladder. That's the start of Jacob's ladder. Okay. Goes up. <clears throat> but the thing is, is, is that you're always in vertical time the moment you think it. Mm. Bringing yourself to the now. Right. Okay. Keeping yourself in the now. It's like a still point. It's a still point. It's a zero still point non-polarity. There's right. no judgment. There's no criticism. There's no, there's no, there's no passing the blame onto anybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the goal may be to live there at the zero Well, <clears throat> Or I guess when you're no polarity, there's no goals. <laughs> there is no goals because everything you do is right. Uh. So it's just being. It's just being. And accepting, loving. Well, you can't you can't be that without accepting or, or being loving, uh -huh. and non-judgmental. Hmm. Okay, that's what zero polarity means, okay. non-judgmental. Hmm. There's no ifs or ands. There's no buts. There's hmm. no well if you did or if you didn't, hmm. and that's all judgment that the ego is trying to keep you involved in to keep you separate from the fact that you've always been perfect. Hmm. You've never hmm. left perfection. Okay. <clears throat> You'll always be perfect because in the mind of prime creator, in the dream of prime creator, he only sees you as perfect. 
So he's not involved in this illusion. Hmm. That's our creation, which we think has become the reality of who we are. Hmm. But that is changing as the central sun is sending so much extra love into the into this universe right now and all of the ascended masters and the angels and and our et brethren that are all around us they're all focusing in on us getting the picture hmm. us seeing the picture seeing that we've been living in the illusion right and that beyond that we are all one we're all with one them. always been and so we can step into this new dimension so to speak of consciousness of awakening <clears throat> the word consciousness of itself brings separation mm. because it's symbols right okay okay now <clears throat> the, the word that I'm starting to see that I need to use is, is is that my awareness my human awareness is catching up to my divineness mm. my human awareness is catching up to my divineness right because mm. it's the experience of the moment that's making that reality Say that one again. It's as as my humanness is catching up to my divineness. Yeah. It takes the experience of the moment ah. to bring that reality, to make that reality. And when you're standing in in vertical time, hmm. the further up the, the ladder you go, mm -hmm. the greater the potential, the more unlimited possibilities. Okay. So things become easier and easier as we climb this ladder because of us realizing who you are there mm -hmm. and when you know yourself you're going to do just what's right mm -hmm. you don't have to prescribe to it and fast to it or or meditate to it or or wonder how you're going to get it done it'll just be to you a second nature which is what we are mm -hmm. it's perfect yes and so when we're vibrating at that divineness then we draw to us that automatically which is also divine right <laughs> right because you can't plant corn and raise carrots right mm -hmm. okay so when the ego talks to you and it'll suggest things that it's hoping you will latch on to mm -hmm. because without you giving it life it has no life right so give me an example of that in today's life uh, the example of that could be in the sense that uh, all of a sudden you're, you feel resistance to something that's outside of you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why? So, like, I mean, here's an example that came to me, but I don't know if this is correct in what you're thinking here. But, um, for instance, smart meters. <laughs> okay, so that can be a very polarized and, and, and high en or, you know, energized whatever like topic right? right because it's like right. how much energy do we do we give to the fight against right. it or do we go somewhere else and create something new well the moment you fight against it you polarize yourself right you're giving it more energy you're giving it more energy mm -hmm. and it's using that energy against yourself mm -hmm. and brings judgment brings fear brings guilt brings anger yeah Okay, now all of those emotions have to be felt, but just because you feel them doesn't mean you got to act on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first impetus usually when you have an event in your life, the first thing that hits you in the face usually you know, will, will actually shock you. Mm -hmm. Okay, why? Because there's still some resistance there that maybe hasn't been dealt with yet, mm -hmm. and you haven't learned to let go. Mm -hmm. Okay? And in learning to let go is to experience it. It's okay to th be human, by the way. Mm -hmm. Because most of us think that being human or being having an ego is wrong. It's terrible. But your ego is as perfect as you are. It's doing its job. Right. Okay? Now, when you get into your car uh, and you turn the key, what are you exercising when you do that? Uh... I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you, you turn the key and you you, you exercise. You're go. exercising uh -huh. a hope so. Oh, okay. Yes, I hope it turns over. And when it turns over and starts, it becomes no so. Yeah. And when you drive it away, it is so. Yes, that's right. Okay. So everything has a process, mm. and you can't short circuit it. Okay. So the ego is there for a purpose, 
seem to be very survival based. Well, it is because <laughs> because it, it in its survival base instinct, it's tr it's separated us and got us to believe that we've been separate from God. Mm. Okay, and that was the purpose coming here to experience. Right, and we live separation. in this dualistic world mm -hmm. of contrast. Mm -hmm. Okay, what what do you mean? What dualism is twoness? Mm -hmm. We're all coming back to oneness. Mm -hmm. Okay, now salvation. If say if you uh, have a religious concept at all about what salvation might mean, you might have been told that somebody else has paid the price and you don't have to do nothing. All you got to do is is sit back, uh, you know, twiddle your hands and just live your life, hoping that everything is going to be okay because you're going to go walk on streets of gold. Mm -hmm. Well. If that's a fairy tale, what reality does it give you? Hmm. Because there's still fear there. If you do something wrong, mm -hmm. what happens? Well, then you're going to burn in hell. Is ah, often there's judgment. The yes. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Or if somebody gets angry at you, mm -hmm. and they start, they come into your face with with that anger. Do you mm -hmm. feel that anger? Yes, it's usually fairly heavy. Ah, because anger is an emotion. Mm -hmm. Emotions is energy in motion. Yes. So you can't have an emotion without it feeling. Right. Okay? And so when all of a sudden the ego has told you and is telling you, listen, you don't have to listen to God. You can become your own God. Mm -hmm. And I'll bring you to a place where God won't even show up because he's not there. You'll be God. Mm -hmm. And you can dictate your own life. Well... I know what it's done for me, that thought. It's caused me to really pay the piper <laughs> mm -hmm. because the consequences weren't life. Mm -hmm. it was, there was punishment. There was, there was judgment. There was, there was fear there. Mm -hmm. okay? Now, in that fear, judgment, punishment scenario, the ego has to keep that viable or alive so that you keep giving it life. And so what do you do? At that point, you create a thought form. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why we're, we're creators. We create by what we think. Mm -hmm. okay? And we create a thought form that says, yeah, but I've got to, I'm guilty. Mm -hmm. So what is that thought form going to keep feeding you? Um, fear and discomfort. Right, because that's mm -hmm. all it can do. Mm -hmm. So you change your thoughts. Till you change your thought. Mm -hmm. and, and as a man thinketh, so he is. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to somebody s share their heart, it doesn't take very long if you're sensitive to where you're at to be able to comprehend exactly where they're coming from because if everything is, is woe is me, I'm so, this is so bad, this is so tough, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I need to straighten you out, or they're, 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 they're going to give you advice that, you haven't even asked for. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because of their need of transferring that guilt from themselves to you. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of back right where we were, where guilt causes self-loathing right. and fear and it's separation. And what we, meant, we were talking about also was the word atonement and attainment. <laughs> atonement meaning at one minute. Yeah, I like that. But you see, most of us are so conditioned to tunis mm -hmm. because of our contrast. Mm -hmm. We live in a dualistic world. Mm -hmm. Daylight follows dark. You're born. What happens? Eventually you, you die. die. <laughs> Everything that's illusional is temporary. Mm -hmm. Changeable. It's, it's changeable. Yeah. The only thing that is unchangeable is truth. Yeah. And the truth has always been this, that you and God are one. Yeah. Never any doubt or fear from God's side. Right. Just my side. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to... The illusion side. The illusion <laughs> side. And I've had to call out on Je to Jesus or the Holy Spirit, whatever you're comfortable. You could call out to Buddha. It doesn't matter. Because <laughs> they've already experienced this. The one, that, the one meant. The one meant. Mm -hmm. And they can then give you an understanding of how you can come into that one meant for yourself because it becomes your decision. Mm -hmm. But if you've right, got and a, that's why we're here on, as far as with 
free will. Right, yeah? right.